It's been a long time since I've seen hockey Twitter this angry over a tweet. And enemy number one today is Andrew Berkshire. Andrew put out a video about Zach Hyman and specifically his journey from fifth round draft pick to now 50 goal scoring superstar. I'm going to play short excerpts from the tweet, but also link to the full thing down below. Zach Hyman scored 50 goals at age 31. Fantastic accomplishment, incredible. But the story that's being sold right now and repeated ad nauseum all over media is that, you know, if you work hard, if you stick to it, you can get there too. You're missing the part of the story where Zach Hyman grew up insanely rich, where his parents bought an entire league to guarantee him playing time, where he did exclusive training that only a rich person could perform, or sorry, that only a rich person could afford. On top of that, got extraordinarily lucky once making the league and has spent almost the entirety of his NHL career playing shotgun next to Austin Matthews or Connor McDavid. The story is if you have that stuff and you have every possible opportunity, every possible lucky break, every possible financial consideration, then, then maybe your hard work will get to you to where Zach Hyman got. All right, so the video is obviously a pretty tough look, and I think most won't be surprised to see that, as mentioned, it was pretty heavily rejected by the wider hockey community. Now, while I don't agree with Andrew, particularly in the targeting of Hyman right after his first 50-goal season, I will play devil's advocate to some of his points. For one, hockey, probably more than any other sport, has an extremely high barrier to entry. This, however, is not only true for Zach Hyman, I'm in, but the majority of players in the NHL come from affluent families, many with connections already in hockey. Listen, I've got one kid so far in hockey. He's only U7. I've spent over a thousand dollars for all of his gear, for his season, for his lessons. And as you progress into travel hockey, you know, that increases, especially if you want to get into the really high end development camps and whatever else. Hockey should be more accessible because there are some people who have the natural skills and work ethic, but because of their socioeconomic status, this will never be able to make it to the NHL, and that sucks. Zach Hyman, when it came to money, was also extremely set up for success. Now, there's an article from The Star detailing how his father, Stuart Hyman, helped to bankroll his career, let's be honest. The article says that his cradle to National Hockey League development story is basically unheard of in the hockey world where Stewart spent millions of dollars buying teams. At one point, he had 90 teams purchased within the GTHL. He bought a scouting agency in the year before Zach's draft year. And one quote from the article says, a range of hockey experts interviewed by the star say they've never seen such corporate investment by a parent in hockey organizations connected to their children. But while that all is true, and I think it is worth bringing attention to the uneven playing field, I think it's really unfortunate to use this to take away from what truly has been an incredible story from Zach Hyman. Hockey, professional sports, life in general has an issue with, you know, unfair distribution of resources, people falling through the cracks, and that should be addressed. I don't agree, however, with making a single person who's just achieved something pretty incredible the face for all that. I also do think Andrew's probably getting a bit more than he deserves right now. I think that Twitter just generally encourages piling on in a bit of an unhealthy way. But let me know what you thought. Do you agree with my take? Do you disagree? Look forward to reading all of your comments down below.